Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Potsy Feather and I'm back today with um, my part of the craft bunker of ignorance social media hop. I will have all of the links down below. This time our um, motto is scrap lifting and I chose a gorgeous layout by Missy Whedon. I have it inserted here now and um, at first I treated my um, What's it called? Cardstock. There we go. Um, with white gesso, and now I'm using a stencil and some structure bead gel. When I saw Missy doing that layout, I was like, "Don't I have something like that laying around somewhere?" And I did, and I love it. This clears, uh, not clears, dries clear, and it has all of uh, those funny little beads in it. But it took about five hours or something to completely dry and while it is drying I am going to make myself a little cluster so I'm using this funny picture of me that I took when I filmed my giveaway video last year and I kind of really like the video at the picture so I thought I would scrap it and um I wanted to I just use this um gold foiled um, emoji thing paper and I wanted to use this don't crop it's a trap chipboard um, thing what's it called is it like a it's not thicker is it I don't know um, and it is by dear Lizzie I believe yes it's by dear Lizzie and um, I also wanted to use my Cat Martin um, die cuts. This is the um, Valentine's Day mini collection and it ha has all kinds of fruit in it. So I thought I would get rid of some of my fruit paper because I don't need that much fruit paper. But it is very colorful and it just, it was matching. So I thought I would do that. And I think I'm going to get some tissue paper. Yes, but yellow. Oh my lord, that is very yellow. And I crinkle it up <clears throat> to get more texture because who doesn't love texture? Oh my god. And I used my paper trimmer to make a clean cut, which actually worked. And I'm using double-sided tape because it would have ripped if I would have used something else. And yeah, I really love how this layout turned out. It took forever, like a lot, a lot of hours, but I love it. So now I'm getting out my... Um, Mists, I use some Heidi Swap Color Shine, I use Distress Mists, I, I, um, and I use Dilution Spray. So this is my splatter box, and you can't see it, but there's the bead gel. And I covered the white part, so this is Dilution's Cherry Pie and Heidi Swap Color Shine in Peach. Then this was, oh my god, a Heidi Swap Color Shine in mustard then distress stain in twisted citron twisted distress no that was pure sunshine dilutions and i'm going back and forth oh i'm sorry that the camera is out of focus there oh there we go and um i removed the kind of oh that that pulled up very muddy and i wanted to protect the white space but um just for so long oh this is also um distress not Heidi Swap color shine in mint and unfortunately I have the um, cherry pie dilutions and the nozzle is it's not clogged but as you can see it just sprays out in this weird shape so I have weird shaped um forms on my um, right side I also splattered all of the colors and also what did I splatter? Marabou Caribbean as well. And now I'm getting, going in back and forth and back and forth. Dobbing up the color and spraying some more and splattering. And then I'm dobbing it up again and going back and forth and doing that 
for a very long time. But I love the end result. There we go. I think I cut some out. And my camera died. And I filmed this. I think I started three times filming it. So what I did, I just adhered my picture on my photo mat in the middle. I flipped it around. So I have the green side on my um, left here, on my right, sorry. And I adhered the don't grow up, it's a trap. And I also adhered the... There, it, my camera died again. I also adhered the rainbow from, these are all Cat Martin die cuts. Um, I adhered that behind the don't grow up and on my picture. And I think I really wanted to use the robot and the, um, like, what is this? Like chewing gum machine thing. Um, I wanted to use that, so I adhered that there. Um, Missy has clusters uh, on the top on the and on the bottom, but I did not do it. Also, I did not use thread, but other than that, I actually really love the the, the bead gel thingy. Um, I used some Heidi Shop Color Shine in gold and splattered it around, and I'm using some emoji stickers. And also some gems. And I'm pretty sure my camera cuts off again because it loves to do that. Or does it? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? I love these gems. They're so fun. Also, I'm so happy I finally got to use a bunch of the Kit Martin die cuts. Oh yeah, I'm using a unicorn now. These are from Flying Tiger and I have the thing with the threes. But I didn't want three unicorns, so I just used a star and like a something else. I also wanted to bring in three of the emoji. Um, these are foam stickers. And I used the kiss mouth thingy. But it has um, orange foam underneath, so I cut that away because I don't like it. And then I was able to adhere that. I also adhered the bow where it is right now, I think. And I don't think I'm bringing a third one. Now do I? I don't remember. Oh my god. Thought about adding some wooden hearts, but no. Oh yeah, I, yes. I. Do I add orange? I thought I added green. A green heart. I'm pretty sure it's like a limeish green. Yes, next to yeah there down below um down below there in the photograph a uh, photo what is this like a polaroid thing area thing and i think my layout is done is it i don't remember <laughs> um what am i doing i'm just dubbing up some of the color but yeah i am done i love how this layer turned out it is so colorful look at that gorgeous texture it is just phenomenal. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the others down below. Um, there are some amazing uh, projects and layouts there. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.